the fact that I used to write Buffy fan fiction makes me perfect for this video. It's 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name. Hey guys, it's Sunday, Cody here, and we are playing Round Robin, and I'm so excited for my part. But Buffy was too late. The stone fell to the ground with a thud. Instantly, a blinding light began illuminating from it. She covered her eyes, knowing epic doom was about to f befall her, Edward, and Jacob. Feel the wrath! Seamus squealed, laughing maniacally. Buffy waited for her second, third, or was it her fourth death now? But after a moment, when nothing had happened, she uncovered her eyes and looked. Here, Jacob said, let me help. The entire clearing swooned as, in slow motion, the boy began to pull off his t-shirt. His perfect abs made even Seamus weak in the knees. Jacob tossed his shirt on top of the stone, hiding the light and saving them from all harm. No! Seamus cried. No, it's supposed to destroy you all! Pint-sized power only hurts pint-sized people, Buffy said. Nice try, though. Okay, I'm bored now. She yawned, and then, before anyone could move, pulled the trigger of her crossbow two more times. Within seconds, both Edward and Seamus lay on the ground dead. Jacob stared at her. Why did you do that? he asked. I was bored, like I said, Buffy said. Besides, an epic vampire leprechaun war? Really? Stupid much? Jacob stared at her. But then why didn't you kill me? he had to ask. Because you're pretty, Buffy said. And you know, we haven't had a werewolf around in a while, and Oz wasn't nearly as good looking as you. Hmm. Wanna come back with me, have some snarky banter with my friends, and then be my love interest for about a year until I get all angsty and decide to run off to LA to see my vampire ex boyfriend for a while? Jacob thought it over. Sounds good to me, he said. Then, hand in hand, they walked out of the forest together. Somewhere in England, Harry Potter rolled over in his four poster bed. Harry, wake up, Ron said, poking him in, the, him in the side. You're talking about it again. Harry opened his eyes. What? You were talking about Buffy and Edward again, Ron said. Really, I just don't understand these muggle fandoms you're a part of. I'm telling you, Ron, Harry said, sitting up. You should really get Netflix. Ron rolled his eyes. Whatever, we need to get to history of magic. We're learning about the vampire at leprechaun war today. Harry stared at him, blinked a few times, then shook his head. Yeah, all right, just let me put some trousers on. The end.